Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm back here in the shop, and uh, we're going to do a little modification this morning on the uh, tailstock for my uh, Vivor 7 by, or excuse me, 14 uh, by 40 uh, wood lathe. And um, uh, basically, after running this thing, this tailstock is completely inadequate. Um, very thin metal. Uh, as soon as you put any kind of torque onto the handle to extend the uh, the tailstock center, uh, the metal just bends out of the way. And uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it it appears to me that it's going to be a severe uh, safety issue. Um, so my thought, rather than throwing this lay of the way like I probably should, um, I'm going to attempt to fix it. So what I've done is I've cut out. A plate of uh, steel that I'm going to put vertically inside of this, weld it all together, um, hoping that it will act um, as a better uh, anti shear uh, device uh, for this tail stock. And um, if you guys uh, want, you can take a ride with me. Um, what I won't be showing the welding and all that stuff because it never really shows well on. Um, video but what I will show is the uh, end result and uh, give a report to uh, how it works um, but uh, this uh, ought to be interesting so uh, without further ado we'll get into it well good evening ladies and gentlemen and uh, we're back at it again uh, this is the uh, modified tail stock uh, for the Vivor uh, 14 by 40 wood lathe. Um, the last episode, uh, we took the old uh, spindle out, and uh, on this episode, we replaced it with a 304 stainless shaft that I uh, custom turned down from a piece of uh, all thread that is the uh, M18 by uh, 2.5. And uh, I uh, welded poorly the gusset plate in here. Um, all I had was a little 110 volt welder here and some really crappy uh, Harbor Freight uh, welding wire and it didn't go well, but it, it is stuck together. Um, the reason why I did that is to get the uh, stability from this thing to even hope to drill. Otherwise this thing would have pitched and rolled and done all kinds of stuff that we didn't want it to do. Um, uh, I uh, turned this end down for the half inch 20 for the drill chuck and uh, we got about 20 millimeters of engagement so uh, probably not going to have any problems here. On the end here um, I got about the same engagement on this hand wheel that I got from the Amazon store and uh, it was less than $10 uh, so the whole project here probably cost somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, I don't know we'll call it 40 bucks and uh, this will give the uh, capability to drill on the Vivor. Um, there will be a follow-up video uh, with this setup uh, actually attached to the lathe and uh, doing the work but uh, everything um, is uh, a lot more solid and all that. Uh, there was a slight amount of uh, distortion after I welded it and the astute can kind of see that there's a little bit of an hourglass shape to that. Um, I did have to uh, run a tap through there again to uh, uh, regain um, the, the path for these uh, threads to match back up and all that good stuff, but it wasn't a big deal. Um, actually, uh, all in all, um, I, I think this will be a great improvement and uh, We'll test it out, though, to make sure. Thanks, guys, for watching this.